guys, Brandon here with Cutting Edge Contracting, and here we are at a fabulous exterior remodel that we have going on right now. Gorgeous house. We've got some custom fire torches going on right here. A little uh, the dials going in here. You can start up each one. They're super sick. They're Tempest. They go uh, with a little fire tornado, and the more that they heat up, it uh, rises all the way to the top. It's pretty sick. Uh, got some custom coping over the top of these planter boxes. We still have to put some, uh, obviously, dirt and planters in there. Got this stackable stone that you see all the way around the entire remodel here. It's really starting to come together. All the walls mirror image each other on the uh, on the opposite sides of the property. We have this awesome stamped concrete where all the borders came in all the way around a little bit harder to get this type of stamp all the way up to the corner so we had to get a little bit creative but i think at the end of the day it looks absolutely gorgeous got a little uh, clear cedar fence here still got some of those knots you're never going to get rid of absolutely every knot with a clear cedar but hey you know you try your best and then we've got this stone is going to terminate all the way into here we got another fascia board going to go right here it's going to be a beautiful finish we got to finish out the rail coming down those steps. And then these boxes, they were actually poured with only about eight inches of concrete. And they were just poured right on top with a really little footing. And then we did the coping on top. And then we did a scratch face. So instead of really smoothing it out and facing the concrete, they take a trowel and they scratch it so that when he mortars the back of it, you can actually have something to place on top that it'll bite into. Yeah, finishing that and then that fence is going to come all the way up through right here still working on that these tie-ins i felt look good sometimes you can do a little um like sill stone up on top to redirect the water but since it was under so much cover we figured that we didn't really need to do that and uh we're finally finally here with water we were really concerned that it was a little bit too blue when you put the color inside of it but as you can see with the sunlight hitting down on it now, it looks really good. Yeah. And then over here, we've got three more fire torches. And then we go over to the other rock wall that's almost a mirror image of that other side here. We really struggled with what we wanted to do with the stairs and I'm, I'm actually really happy. I took um, uh, one of our uh, lead masons uh, advice and, and kind of did a little bit of a trim split up there with the concrete and the, and the boral stone with that stackable stone there. Split up the transition to that cinder block wall versus coming all the way over here. I think it turned out really well. Stairs coming up here tapering out. This is one of the most popular stairs that you can do when you taper out like this. I've had several jobs over the years where people like to taper in or people actually like to taper out, believe it or not, coming into these. And I think this turned out really well. You could drive a side-by-side -side or a quad up this no problem and rip up and down every day. Greg filled, oh my gosh, how much was it like? 200 bags of concrete inside of cinder block with rebar on these stairs. So they're never going anywhere. We've got two other benches that we need to put over here to finish off this area. We were concerned with the depth because the wall is, is four feet and technically speaking for a four foot wall, you don't need a permit or four foot and under. Um, this wall on the outside, that one you definitely needed a permit for. It's about 13 foot tall wall going down the entire way. That was a very, very big project. Um, this one we have two beautiful stone benches that are gonna go here, uh, one right here and one there. We've determined that up here we're going to go ahead and do a flower bed so that no one thinks they can just step on over the top side of the wall so we don't have to do another railing here. That way everybody that comes and looks from the fire pit over there and looks out will be able to see the full view. And then this is, I'll tell you what, I'm so proud of this rail. One of our production managers who was with uh, um, Bassett Construction, they were working at about a $25 million job with Nike. Uh, for about the past three years and he was the uh, uh, chief uh, sheet metal installer and uh, lead like kind of stud you know, stud metalist anyway this uh, railing here he helped out with the guys and made sure that this thing was absolutely straight if you look all the way down this rail come put the camera right on the rail 
Look how dead eye straight that is. The entire 140 feet all the way down is beautiful. Got a little capstone on the top side here. This is a cap actually for an observation well. This is a well that we have, what is this, Sean? 15, 16 feet below here. Yep, for the for the infiltration yeah, trench. So this was crazy. Um, basically you had to dig a giant hole. It was like 15, what, 15 by 10. Yeah. And uh, with 15 feet deep, and then fill it with uh, fabric and drainage rock, and oh my gosh, the amount of stuff they make you do when you have an extra 6,000 feet of hardscape surface is quite a bit. This is sweet. We still have to get all the fire glass in here for this. This is the same granite that we put on the fire bowls and then in the kitchen. We're gonna get a fire glass that's blue that matches exactly what that pool looks like over there. Um, later on, you can't see it too good now and you if we turn it on but you get flames I mean up to here with something like this it is so sweet so there's 19 fire torches in this backyard our cost as contractors um, just even for these what we would have to build retail is like minimum about like 5,500 6,000 a torch even in the bulk for like 19 that we did here um, this type of fire pit assembly costs about eh, 30 35,000 with the granite by the time it's all said and done is, is what you'd have to end up charging even to just, I mean, barely cover costs and everything. It's, it's a massive overhaul on a project like this.